Hello. In this video, we are going to introduce you to our article, which aims to analyze images of dictatorial regimes and human rights abuse in Latin America in Alfonso Cuaron's Roma. In the film, the director peers into the past and takes us back to 1970, Mexico. He manages to capture the idiosyncrasies and entanglements of everyday life and blend them with a complex social, economic and political background which focuses on Mexico City but which could very easily represent most of the struggles of Latin America. The film is dedicated to Liboria Rodriguez, who was Cuaron's nanny and who started working for his family when he was nine months old. It focuses on the life of Cleo, who is a living maid who works for an upper middle class family who lives in, a, in an upper middle class neighborhood in Mexico City called Colonia Roma, where Cuaron grew up. Cleo is the embodiment of class condition contrasts. She represents the dialectic dance between race and class in a country facing social economic inequalities that range from pure famine to extreme luxury. The inequalities engendered by class condition will become evident at the 1 hour and 14 minute mark when the audience is introduced to the contrasts of an upper middle class neighborhood and the margins of the city in Mexico City representing the whole of Latin America in terms of shelter, food, clothing, clean water, uh, safety and sewerage system. Homer's political background is a Mexico ruled by the Institutional Revolutionary Party. Latin America is known for its multiple dictatorships and Mexico is no different. According to Mario Vargas Llosa, uh, Mexico was the perfect dictatorship because it was a dictatorship that pretended to be a democracy. At the 1 hour and 34 minute mark, the audience is shocked with one of the most brutal episodes of human rights abuse in Latin America. The episode that became known as El Alconazo was a political conflict between the police supported by the CIA trained group Los Alcones against protesters which left about 120 people dead and a blood stain in Mexican history. Okay, human rights stand out as a result of dynamic historical processes and constant changes, reflect, reflecting the evolution and consolidation of the fight for human dignity. The concern about human rights grew internationally after World War II in response to Nazi fascist brutality and the destruction caused by armed conflict. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, along with the foundation of the United Nations, marks the core of human rights protection worldwide. Regionally, in America, human rights' main protection system is the Inter-American rights, Human Rights System, responsible for monitoring, promoting and protecting human rights in all 35 members of the Organization of American States. The system is composed of two main entities the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights and the Inter-American Court of Human Rights, both ruled by the American Convention on Human Rights, also known as Pact of San Jose. The Commission is responsible for analyzing human rights violation reports and presenting them to court when necessary. 20 of the 35 OES states recognize the cursed jurisdiction, including Mexico and Brazil. 
During the second half of the 20th century, authoritarian governments rose up in Latin America, affecting the protection of human rights and violating them in several ways. The atrocities committed dur during this period are among the worst cases of human rights abuse in the post-World War II era. In New Mexico, ruled by the Institutional Revolutionary Party, repression, violence, disappearance, and death were constant fears to the Mexican people. Events such as El Arconazo in 1971 point the government's brutal repression against opposition. Brazil was no different. From 1964 to 1985, Brazil experienced the atrocities of a violent and authoritarian military regime in which censorship and persecution and even torture and killing of the opposition took over the national scene. As in post-BRI Mexico, the process of resuming democracy was anything but fast, let alone easy. Despite democratic advances, the shadows of the dictatorship continued to haunt Brazil's young democracy and to spread the ideologies of a government that insists on denying the past. With the denial of past atrocities and the glorification of a murderous dictatorship, hate looms over society, disguised as freedom of speech. While violation and abuse of human rights is evident, in a context of new fascist rise, international protection of human rights is imperative. It is necessary to assert the international commitments signed, such as the American Convention on Human Rights and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, to stop the past from repeating itself. Meanwhile, artistic production is crucial for remembering past struggles. In conclusion, Homa not only looks back to Mexico, but reflects the context experienced by several Latin American countries, including Brazil.